<laughs> Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Farming Simulator. Let's get out and kick a tire. All right, we are getting ready to go down. I was going to go check that other field because I don't really just cruise with the harvester. But as you can see, we cannot fit through there. We actually need to go buy a harvester head here, guys. <laughs> or a uh, header trailer. And um, that doesn't surprise me, but it is costing us money. Also, while I was advancing time, um, two things popped up here. Uh, the mower deal, I think you might have seen that in the last episode, and the farm trailer. But now we are going to need the header trailer for uh, this fent. Oh, wait, no, not that one. Where is it? Right. What are the difference between these guys? Absolutely nothing. Interesting. All right, we need this header trailer right here. And, of course, it is not cheap. Why would it be? <laughs> we have almost no money. That would make sense. So we're going to unfold. Right, let's detach. Hopefully that locks it in. I think. I am not sure. Let's try this out. Boom. And let's see. I feel like... Oh, yeah, I feel like that's on there good. I must have put it right in a pretty good spot because it does seem to work. And actually, I, oh, no. Well, that did not go as planned. I don't think there's a locking mechanism, though, for it. Oh, let's get it hit. There we go. Let's get up to her. Lock that up. I don't think there is a mechanism to lock the header on the trailer, though. Unless I just really messed that up. This is the right one. Maybe I just got to not be a crazy driver. At any rate, we do need it, so we will be using it. Oh, let's not smash it here. And I actually think that our field, um, we're running out of grain quickly, but I don't think that other field is actually ready quite yet. I actually might go one more month ahead. Let's see, canola. Oh, yeah, because I don't think, let's go look. No, it's not quite ready. So let's get over to August. As you can see, I've been loading pallets up. We are going to have a ton of pallets ready for this November when we sell them. Um, let's go over here. I'm going to bring this guy back. I'm going to advance a month and see where we're sitting here. Okay, I just realized we are in dire straits for canola at that place. So we do not have the luxury of skipping the month. We're going to have to get right on this canola harvest here. So we need to get started right now.
All right, that first part of Mega Field 40 went pretty good. We are going to get set up over here um, for this harvest. And one thing I want to do, um, let's see, is we're going to take a gander. Oh, let's start right there. That's actually a good little spot. And this actually, we did get like 5,000 more because last time I had 1,000 liters in the trailer. So that's really good. Let's see how this is now sitting. I am very curious to see this. Um, 91,000. So I'm really curious to see how much or how long that's going to last. I'm, I'm guessing until like the beginning of spring or end of winter. And we got tomatoes going all right so this field isn't ready yet but i do want to go before i advance time let's go ahead and check oop where are you right here i want to unload um temporarily unload this We'll put that back here in a second, but I want to see. Um, let's fill this guy up here quick. There we go. Refill sprayer. Let's see how, how much of this does and how fast it goes. Let's do at least one more. I think we're going to use this. Oh. Shoot, it's filling up herbicide. Oh, I need liquid fertilizer. I'm an idiot. Okay, so, yeah, let's go get liquid fertilizer quick. All right, we need to oh, unfold it, and we're going to see what this new bad boy does here. I am super pumped. Let's get him over here. Perfect. I already seem to like this guy. Um, I haven't got a full use of him yet. Uh, let's turn on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, and it goes so fast. You, <laughs> this is so awesome. Oh, we're missing a little bit here. I will actually go back and get that. Holy crap, guys. Is this ridiculous? So we can fertilize at like almost 16 miles an hour. I might have to get used to this. So I'm wondering how turnarounds are going to be with this guy. We're going to find out in a hurry. Honestly, this was worth all 130000 that we paid for. it. Completely worth it. Alright. Let's see what turnarounds are like with it. And we might have to overlap a little bit. Um, oop. Yeah, let's overlap because I noticed I was not getting the end very good over there. I'm not too worried about how much I overlap. Let's keep it right around there. Uh, this is, for me, a game changer. I can do this field in about like five, ten minutes. Whereas the old one... Not so much a fertilizer spreader, but the, I'm curious, I would assume the herbicide can come out this quick as well. Huh. Which that weeder could do only a little here, and that herbicide spray was annoying, and it could only do seven miles an hour. So, I think we found our new passion, guys. I like this fertilizer spreader. Um, I'm going to keep going on it and then get ready for that other harvest here. Okay, so now we know that lime is the first one to reappear. Although we do not have a lime spreader at the moment. Um, in fact, we could actually sell our fertilizer spreader. Um, because we're not going to need that anymore with that guy being able to do both. But... We need one of them trailer fertilizer spreaders that can do lime as well. Ours can actually do lime. So let's get this guy started. 
Um, I'm going to have these guys start working on cultivating while I harvest that other field. So we are going to go over here and our put, we're going to test them out. He's a little underpowered, but the Veltra may be actually able to pull it. Um, it's a little slow. I think we're going to put the Massey Ferguson on there. Um, and then also, if you guys see, where is he? There we go. We got this guy here. And the only reason we have him here is we bought him new. And uh, there is a uh, cheap one right here that will save us some good money right there and let's get him repaired oh he's not even that bad but let's fix him up anyway just to have him fixed up all right let's go ahead i don't imagine that's going to be a big repair bill there we go all right and then i'm going to have him go ahead and start um let's see we're gonna go over I do have everything kind of ready over here. Yeah, well, we actually got to go get... Um, we do have one issue here. And that is, I don't think this guy can pull the feeder wagon. But we can try with him. Um, it looks like we're going to have to um, at least cultivate with Clifford, our Massey Ferguson that we just got. Um, but that other cultivator that we're running out there is going to save us some time. I'm assuming that this Massey Ferguson, is, this Clifford here, um, we'll see, but I'm pretty sure he'll run that thing no problem. All right, let's go down here. But this will save us a few minutes if we got these two guys cultivating, and that's kind of what we're getting. I wish I had known Pink Panther isn't can't run the uh, blue cultivator. It was pretty close. I thought it was going to be able to. It would have been able to slow, but we're kind of wasting time with that one. So why don't we just go ahead and do it with Clifford here. Man, this is... I am so pumped about this tractor. I know that John Deere is more power and probably more of a help on the farm, but this, with its horsepower and having decent, or having decent horsepower and really good speed, is going to be really good. Let's see. Drop it in. Let's see what he gets up to for a top speed. Pulls it just fine. So now after we get out here, does it say anything besides? Nope. Not at all. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to actually start harvesting here, but oop, let's detach that. Let's grab this header. This is going to be kind of a pain, uh, this field. Oop, let's grab them off. There we go. I think if we lower the header onto the trailer, it might work pretty good, too. These trees are eventually going to have to come out. Oop, the one I just hit is one of the ones I was talking about. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and start f uh, harvesting, but I am going to leave a straw swath behind. Now let's see how this little field goes. I will see you in a few minutes. Okay, not good. It did not even fill up the combine at all. We are... Going to be in a little bit of trouble on the wheat front with the, um, as we go with the, oh, let's put it on there, let's see if it centers, there it goes, it did, um, yeah, not having, ooh, that's rough, I don't know what we're going to do, I might have to see if I can come up a plan and see if we can't buy another field that has wheat in it right now. Uh, but I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, while they are cultivating, I am going to pick up the straw that we do have from this field over here. And I actually I think I'm going to run a little cultivator over here with this guy and just knock it out real quick here. 
Okay, we are all cultivated, ready to go for a seed bed. Um, I could not figure out any other way to get wheat without buying it. We're not going to uh, do the buy a field and then sell it thing. We are, however, going to have a pretty good harvest. It's looking like over here on our canola stuff. So we're kind of baking on that. We do have that all good going here. Um, oh, as you can see, the chickens are getting low on food. Um, and as we have more chickens now, we're getting crazy high amounts. I mean, you can see all the babies, you know, we've seen age nine months. They keep producing in little spurts here. Every couple months, it seems like we get 20 or 30. You know, they, that is part of the reason they're eating so much. So we got to go up there and fill it too. But the canola deal here, as you can see, uh, oop, canola down here, looking pretty good. We got it mostly full for the time being. Um, but our next harvest, here, let's go ahead and fill these. Oop, this right here. Our next harvest, I think, is going to be sorghum. We've yet to do it. And if I was looking right, it doesn't, oop right here sorghum is does have the same basically the same harvest as barley and wheat the same kind of time frame it'd be a month or two later um but i do let's see a month that's probably two three thousand yeah we could do that um now we do have to plant it in uh, the um spring though it looks like and actually yeah really the it'd be only about a month difference or two months difference on the sorghum i really would like to see what that sorghum is all about so that is what we're going to do which means our next episode isn't going to be planting it's going to be selling a lot of stuff here folks we should make a lot of money in our next episode guys we'll see you next time have a good one